Hey what's up everybody, Neil here. Today I'm going to show you how to save reminders to your notification tray as well as set alarms to them. So this is a pretty simple and straightforward application called Notable Quick Reminder and it's refreshingly simple. So I appreciate it because I'm a minimalist and I don't need bells and whistles to confuse me and I don't need to spend time learning how to use an application with a simple function. So it's on Google Play and it's free. So when you first open it, first thing you want to do is go to the preferences, either by tapping up here or if you have a Galaxy, you can go right here to the settings. And you're just going to make some adjustments if you want. First of all, you can um, dictate the action. If you click on the actual notification once it's in the tray, you can dismiss, show detail screen, or edit. Then you can toggle a shortcut that will be in your notification, sorry, yeah, your notification bar. You can also have an expand option if you're running Android 4.1 or above. This will show actions when a notification is expanded. Options such as editing and dismissing. And then there's allow swiping. Use the swiping gesture to mark a notification as done. And then priority basically dictates where it's placed in the tray. If you set a normal priority, it'll be on the higher side of your tray. If you put a low priority, it'll be on the bottom. Minimum priority, highs the arrows, and status bar. And then if you want to do an in-app donation, you can actually unlock the dark theme. So you would just go right here and do donate. Or you can go to the Google Play link in the application to download, to download the donation, which is 99 cents, and you get the dark theme. So not bad. OK, to use the actual Reminder, first thing I do, just set a flag. Let's just do red. I'm going to do a time. That time's fine. And then you would just set a reminder like grab milk because everyone's forgetting milk on their way home. And that's it. When the time is up, you get a reminder. And you can also look down in your notification tray and see the reminder right here. Click on it, click on it, and you can check to dismiss it. You can just go back, or you can actually edit it in case you need to add some time. So definitely check out the full guide. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more useful videos, and thanks for watching.